In this video, I'll show you how to add your broader printer, could be a broader laser printer or inkjet, it does not matter, to your Mac computer. This way you'll be able to print but also scan. The first thing is to connect your broader printer to the same Wi-Fi network as your Mac. Now it really depends again which model you have because some broader printer have a display like this one. It but some other printers have a more basic screen with a bunch of buttons to help you connect. We're gonna press the up arrow to navigate through the menu. Press it a few times until you see network. Then confirm by pressing OK. Once you see WLAN Wi-Fi, press OK once again. It will say find network, press OK. And it will start searching for all the Wi-Fi networks that are currently around the printer. Now use the up and down arrow to navigate through the names of all the networks that uh, the printer has detected. So this is my Wi-Fi network. I'll press OK. And we'll have to enter the password. Now, unfortunately, there is no keyboard, so it will be a bit hard to do it. But by using the up and down arrow, you're going to go through all the numbers and then all the letters, okay? And once you have selected, let's, let's say your password starts with an H, well, you're gonna press the OK, it will register, and then you'll go to the next one, and same thing. If you have characters, press the down arrow, and you'll go through them first before going through the numbers and letters. If you have capital letters, they'll appear right over here as well. This can take a few minutes, so let me just do it and come back when I'll be, <laughs> I'll have written my whole password. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you want to delete, simply press the back button and it will delete whatever you uh, wrote there and you'll be able to input the right character. Once you are done entering the password, you're gonna press once more on the OK button. It'll say apply settings, Press the down arrow here to confirm. And now the printer is connecting to your Wi-Fi network. You're gonna get the confirmation connected once this is done. Then once your uh, printer is connected to the Wi-Fi, we need to go on the top left corner on your Mac, click on the Apple logo, then select system settings. From here, we're gonna go on the left side menu down until you select printers and scanners. Select it, and you're gonna see all the printers and scanners that are currently connected on your Mac, but if you go all the way down, you should see add printer, scanner, or fax. Click there, and here press allow. Select your brother printer, so this is mine, brother HLL2405W, and then press the add button right on the lower right side. The printer has now been added to your Mac. Everything is connected, so let me show you how to print any documents. Now open any pictures or any PDF documents you wish to print. Go on the top left corner, you see where you uh, all the options are. Press on file, go down and select print from on uh, the top of this small menu, select your broader printer, and then make sure these settings are matching the project you're trying to print. Now, one of the important things you can check is under media and quality, click here, and where it says quality, by default it's normal, but you can select best if you want to get, obviously, the best image quality, I mean, the be best print quality. You can also select draft, but never do that, it will give you terrible results. So I'll select best, and then press print. It takes only a few seconds, make sure this is extended, the print will come out right over here. And here we go we got our print. Now let me show you how to use the scanner and get the results on your Mac. So this printer has two different scanners. One top document feeder over here, in case you're having multiple pages that you wish to scan at the same time. And we also have a pretty basic scanner glass. 
Let me show you how to input paper in both of these and then we'll go on the Mac. So if you intend to scan multiple pages, simply align them, put them facing up with the top part of your document towards the left and glide them through the top over here, just like that. If you want to use the scanner glass because you just have one page you wish to scan, take your page, put it facing down with the top part towards the left and then align the top left corner with the top left corner of the scanner. So make sure both are touching over here. Then close. On your Mac computer, let me close this. We're gonna go back on this window over here where it, you know in the settings, printers and scanners. You're gonna find your printer in this list, click on your printer and then select open scanner. On the left side, select your printer and wait. Now once you're over here, you may get a preview or maybe it's not there. That's not important since nothing got saved yet. You're gonna have a few settings you can change. Let me walk you through all of them so you know what's all about. So scan mode, select where your document is located on the flatbed or document feeder. If you want in black and white over here. Resolution, this is quite important. If you're scanning anything with a lot of details like a picture, artwork, stuff like that, select the highest number, it will give you the best results. If you're simply scanning text with some images that are not very important if they're high resolution or not, select 200 or 300 dpi. The higher the number, the longer time it will take for you to scan the document. Now you have the size of your document, I'll leave it like this. And over here, where do you want this document to go? By default is desktop and I will leave it there. And you can also give this um, scan a new name. Finally, you have uh, the format that you wish this uh, scan to be saved in. And over here you have combined into a single document. If you have selected PDF and you have multiple pages you wish to combine in one document, you have to check this. At the end, press scan and wait. Usually, depending what settings you have chosen, 200 dpi should take about 12 seconds. At the end, you're gonna get a confirmation that it has been scanned, here we go. And the scan went on my desktop because this is where I have selected it and here we go, it's there. Thanks for watching, I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.